guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you clicked on this video, you want to see my review on BoxyCharm. If you've been with me through a little bit, then you would realize that I used to do Battle of the Boxes, but I asked for you guys' opinion if you guys liked me doing Battle of the Boxes or if you prefer each subscription box having their own video. And then that way I can also go a little more into depth about the products and actually test them out for you on camera. And you guys wanted everything to be separate, so that is what I'm doing. I am canceling the Sephora box just because it's not always my favorite box so I'm not gonna continue to spend money on something that I don't feel like I'm getting great products in. So we're just gonna do BoxyCharm and Ipsy. So and Ipsy's gonna be up this Wednesday. So we're gonna go ahead and review this month's BoxyCharm for you guys. So when you open it up, it has the stock card which shows makeup is art. I really love the card for this month. We're just gonna go ahead and go in order of what's on the card. So the first thing on here is the highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty and this retails for $14. And this is supposed to sculpt, define, and illuminate your features with the highlight and contour palette. It's chic and portable and it has six shades. So you have your three highlights and your three contours. I'm more in the number two range so these two shades in the middle are my shades from this palette. So that is what I used to demonstrate for you guys. The initial like swatch of them is creamy but the further that I got into this shade you can kind of see where it gets a little bit chalky. It's in between creamy and chalky so I'm not sure if I agree with this being $40 considering that the Anastasia Beverly Hills is $40 and I believe that the Kat Von D is about $36. It's around there so it's around the same price as this contour palette so in my opinion I probably wouldn't go for this one. I would go for my Anastasia and my Kat Von D. My Kat Von D is my holy grail when it comes to a contour and highlight palette so it's up to you guys if you really want to test this out but let's go ahead and go on to, to the next product the next product is the round contour brush from crown beauty and this retails for $24.99 and this is what the brush looks like and it says it is a super super soft paddle brush that can be used with any liquid powder and cream product for a full coverage application so I did test this out for the foundation as you will see in the demonstration. I did combine the liquid glow from the BoxyCharm with my MAC Studio Sculpt foundation to test it out because I was trying to test this out as well. So I put a, two parts of this and one part of this on the back of my hand and mixed it and then I used this brush to spread out the product and in my opinion I don't know what it is about this brush specifically but it kind of takes the product and holds it in the brush and then when you're spreading it around it looks nice. I mean it does a good job of blending but the finish is cakey so I had to use my beauty blender to blend everything out even further. I'll have to play around with this and see if there's like a happy medium with it but I'm not impressed by the brush as well as it's a plastic brush so it's not very sturdy and I had to kind of press hard a little bit harder than I would with my Morphe brushes so I didn't like that I had to tug my skin with this brush specifically so this was kind of a miss for me. The next thing in here is the brow brush from the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks and this retails for $14.00. It is a double-ended brush that was designed to allow precision and create hair-like strokes while filling in the brows. So you have your spoolie on one end and your angled brow brush on the other end. I don't really know how I feel about this brush just yet. I like the spoolie. The spoolie is very good on this brush, but I'm not too sure how I feel about this side. These smaller brow brushes I use to set my brows, and I use the bigger brow brush from Morphe to actually my dip brow pomade from from Anastasia with on. So I'm not too sure how I feel about this with setting my brows, but it's all right. Kind of iffy on it. The next thing in this box is the Convertible Brow by the Brow Gal again. And this is um, Convertible Brow 2. So this is for brunette hair. And this retails for $35. This is a Convertible Brow. It's a powder pomade duo that acts. Okay, so this is like throwing me off a little bit because I tried using this as a powder to set my pomade, my brow pomade with 
from Anastasia and I guess that's why I wasn't like getting like a such a great review with it because it was kind of like acting weird and it looks a little bit splotchy so dry is like a powder consistency but if you get the slightest bit of wetness with this product it does act as a pomade so I don't think mixing pomade with pomade was such a great idea I thought it was a powder only until I actually read the card just now but I think I will like this product I just have to play around with it more I feel like with any product that you're kind of unfamiliar with you're just kind of like iffy at the beginning but I will continue to test out this product because I feel like I would really enjoy it so the last thing for this box is the liquid glow by temp2 and this retails for $29.50 this is a limited edition collaboration with boxycharm liquid glow is first hand applied highlighter formulated to deliver a radiant luminous complexion to illuminate all over so what I did in this review I did mix this with my MAC foundation and to be honest I'm not really sure that this is the correct shade for me in a sense because because I'm so fair um, if you look at my chest it kind of looks a little bit more red than my face so I think this is a little too like rose golden for me in a sense this is almost like a little bit darker than my foundation so it looks a little bit red on me so my overall opinion on the entire box is I was really excited to get this box because everything looked so amazing actually testing it out and everything I mean my makeup came out pretty good I really do enjoy the shade selections from the contour palette the brow product I feel like I can get used to it just like with the when I first got my Anastasia dip brow pomade I didn't really know how to work it it and I was just getting frustrated with it in the beginning but now it's my holy grail product so I feel like I just need to test them in different situations and just really learn how to use these products but if I have to give a overall satisfaction on this box I would say it's a three out of five stars for me just because these brushes have been really like floating around and becoming popular but this one in specific is definitely a no-go and I wouldn't consider purchasing this at all after testing it out and just because the shade selection on this was just a no-go and I don't know if this also altered the foundation to look cakey so that's another thing I would have to test out and see if this made the foundation cakey along with like if these like I don't know if you get what I'm saying I will give this box a three out of five stars so that is my overall opinion on this month's boxy charm so if you guys liked this video and you like this version a whole lot better give me some thumbs up and leave some comments down below letting me know if you like this version better than my battle of the boxes if you guys prefer me to go more in depth with the products and how I feel about them testing them out on camera for you guys I feel like this was a lot more productive video of me giving you my honest opinion and testing it out for you guys I do agree with you guys on that if you guys like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday for you guys I hope you guys have an amazing day and peace out guys